Hello and welcome to News Blitz on ZTN. These are the stories making the headlines. Low turnout characterizes schools opening. Janimbi final wishes revealed. Comedian Gringo to be buried in Rusape. And Trump plans rallies challenging election results. Schools reopened today for the third term with both teacher and pupil turnout low at many learning institutions. Some teachers have not been reporting for duty since the first phase of schools opening in September, citing incapacitation. With salary talks between civil servants and government yet to yield a breakthrough, some schools, development committees and associations have resolved to levy parents in order to pay teachers. But the government says this is illegal. As for those schools that are considering to make parents pay extra for teachers' incentives, the Honorable Minister Ambassador uh, Kane Mantema has reiterated uh, that it is illegal for any school to do so, and any school that continues to do that would be in violation of the law. As for the issue of masks, the government is on record of, for saying that it will provide uh, the masks, but obviously in order for the learners to collect the masks from the schools, they should be able to be put... Nomboshava, an area 27 kilometers north of Harare, is still in shock following the tragic death of popular businessman and socialite Genius Kadungure. Jinimbi, as Kadungre was popularly known, died in the early hours of Sunday morning when his Rolls Royce collided with a Honda Fit in Borodo, Harare. Three other people died in the car crash. We cross over to our correspondent Takuzo Chambakwe, who is at Kadungure's residence, where people are gathered to pay their respects to the late businessman. Well, thank you, Blessing. What I can tell you is that the burial has been set for Saturday. We're just waiting for official communication to be made. Uh, but what we are gathering here uh, from close family sources is that the burial will be on Saturday afternoon and Janimbi will be buried in his uh, property just uh, behind me here. As I can step aside, you can see the entrance uh, to his uh, mansion here in Domboshawa. That's where the burial is going to be uh, held. Uh, contrary to what has been circulating on social media that he's going to be at uh, the gravesite where his mother was laid to rest the communication we are gathering here is that he's going to be laid to rest uh, in his property behind me here. Yeah, we've also been told that before he passed on, he had instructed his relatives and close friends uh, that he doesn't want to be mourned uh, in haste. He instructed that they should take their time to celebrate and reflect on his life and that uh, mourners are expected to start coming through uh, on Thursday. Uh, Thursday afternoon into the evening, that's when official proceedings will start to take place here in Omboshawa. Right now, a few people have been trickling in at his father's homestead, just uh, a stone throw away from his where he was staying here in Omboshawa. Uh, that's what we can tell you for now. Thanks for that update, Taku. Now, Zetien also caught up with uh, Janimba's sister, Juliet, who gives us more. The reason why. Um Funeral, yeah, taka ku drag. It's because mkoma na we, I garashta roti and di kuitwa chi chi brr. Kutinda fana, zinda kuto giswa kumakua. Please take your time to mourn me. I've got friends from abroad, kuna mwa nopa UK, America, so forth. Ndola tu mpewa ni wavo mkan. Ukutiba farm, bivasi nga maniswe, wao zundi viga. He, so Beria is going to be on Saturday. The funeral actually is going to be taking place uh, from Thursday. He, because you know, it's a problem in space. Pampapaya mm, Virginia space is very limited. Zetian also caught up with the Lucky Chikwanda whose vehicle collided with the late genius Kadungure's Rolls Royce. And he was speeding because he was trying to overtake a motor. It was two. Then he was trying to overtake a motor. It was a car that was going to And it was too late for him to put item brakes in agents. Friend, I'm going to ah, lucky. Watch out! Watch out! 
ndaka kuzungura ndikuleni kwangu iko vai papo ndaka zungona nda batwe boys ndana ndine belt belt rakandi save it save me ina me poor guy i'm not rich i'm not even worth good designs ndinga uraya munhu but zvirungondirwadza na nase zvirungondirwadza kuti but why but inini ndinde for enda kato five up but something saved me i don't even know kuti chicha kandi save but what really transpired chikwanda's passenger atwo kamsara explains Eh mota yo yaipa mtown sita ipinda kuside the town ichenda ku mota enda ku hit clip saka pamberi pa mota pamberi pedi panga pane pamberi payo panga pane mota 2 dzanga dziri pamberi payo yaida kuti yakuda kuovertake mota yacho nayo saka pakuda kuovertake pai pai eh isu yedo tika bata na kuti kuti chisa speed kuti kwanisa kupinda mota chisa bata kuti zvakatora kunetsa ndopa ika shaka ichitirowa mota yacho nayo isu yedo ika bya 10 pai karowa mota yacho nayo bya 10 bya tasa kupa driver iyo yacho nayo ika bya now cross over to Highfold Suburb in Harare where our correspondent Samantha Rusare is attending the funeral of Moana, one of the four victims from yesterday's fatal collision. I am at uh, Michelle Amuli's family home in Highfields where her family and friends are still in shock over her unfortunate passing. Michelle, popularly known as Moana, died yesterday in a car accident with the prominent businessman genius Kadungure. I got to speak to some of her family and her friends here and this is what they had to say. Michelle was like my mother. Michelle. Well, Zetien also spoke to Moana's mother who had this to say. More sad news, Zimbabwe's art sector is robbed yet again. Popular Zimbabwean comedian Lazarus Bora, who died early this morning, will be buried at his rural home in Rusape. Bora, commonly known as Gringo, died at a private hospital in the capital Harare this morning. He had been battling intestinal obstruction for some time. We relive some of his finest moments. Maria Katambisa Chiroram Katsuigo. Danga Katenga Imbuka Gaita Bas. Ora's brother Tendai Chaipa told ZTN that the family is yet to set his burial date. Too early now, but the reason to send on over the Moka board, we are choosing. And then after that, in the turn, we can start talking of marriage. But obviously, I don't know how much. Moving on, most parts of Zimbabwe have been experiencing hot conditions over the past few days, with areas like Baitbridge today recording temperatures as high as 40 degrees Celsius. But the Meteorological Services Department maintains that this is not a heat wave. Chief forecaster James Ngoma told ZTN that temperatures are expected to start dropping on Tuesday. So we expect temperatures to get from hot to very hot in some areas. However, the system that was responsible for this was bringing us northeasterly airflow. As of tomorrow, we're expecting a cooler southeasterly airflow. We should cool up much of the atmosphere. So it's just a short-lived system that was giving us this heat over the country. And it's very normal during the summer season. When the period extends beyond three to four days, that's when we can classify it as a heat wave.
We go to the USA where President Trump is planning to bring back his large-scale rallies that were a hallmark of his presidential run. But he will be focused on his ongoing litigation as he challenges the results of last week's election. Trump's campaign plans to take a less traditional path to challenging the results of the election, including holding a series of Trump rallies focused on the campaign's ongoing legal efforts in numerous states across the country. He is also planning to use obituaries of people who allegedly voted but are, but are actually deceased as, ev as evidence to authenticate his claims of a voter fraud. That does it for News Blitz uh, this afternoon. Thank you so much for making us your choice. And remember, you can visit our website, ztn.co.zw, to get in touch with more of our programming. Thank you for watching.